On July 17th, the fate of the internet will be decided as the FCC makes plans to roll back the policy of net neutrality. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Adam Bozart. Net neutrality may sound familiar. It's the basic philosophy that says that the internet should be open and fair and access to the internet should be open and fair. Many internet service providers own or are owned by huge media conglomerates, and many have their own streaming services. For example, Comcast, the largest in-home ISP in the United States, owns NBC, cable news network MSNBC, movie studio Universal Pictures, and even the Weather Channel. Without the regulation, Comcast can decide to slow down access to everything that they don't own. That means one company can decide what you watch, where you get your news, what movies you see, and even where you get the weather. Like, that's bull****. But would Comcast really do that? Yeah. They would. In 2014, Comcast and Verizon were slowing down Netflix so much, Netflix had to pay Comcast for direct access to their network because they were losing too many subscribers. It was a shakedown like this that led the Obama administration to put these regulations into place in 2015. The current rules ban internet service providers from treating internet traffic differently based on the source. They're meant to ensure corporate interests don't get favorable treatment. The culture of the internet has always been highly democratic. Anybody could become famous overnight. A funny video could become a media empire. We are free to share and share alike. However, the rules that keep data unregulated are in trouble. Trump appointed chairman of the FCC, Ajit Pai is leading the charge to overturn the 2015 changes in favor of a hands-off approach. Pai appeared on PBS NewsHour earlier this year to defend his plan to kill net neutrality. Now, I just want to pose a hypothetical to you. Sure. Let's just say Comcast created a new TV series, and it just so happened that that competed with a Netflix series, very similarly. If these rules go away, how is, the, how is there not an incredible incentive for Comcast to slow Netflix down coming into my house and make their video, the Comcast video, very robust? So under that hypothetical, one of the things that's important to remember is that it is a hypothetical. It actually happened. It actually happened. It's the reason for the regulation that you're trying to get rid of. So what are the benefits to rolling back this regulation? Pi argues that it helps smaller ISPs compete in the market. 22 internet service providers with 1,000 customers or less told us that these Title II regulations have kept them from getting the financing that they need to build out their networks. However, none of the ISPs are saying that they're having trouble building out these markets. So really the danger is for all of us consumers on the internet and for businesses on the internet too. They're going to be fighting for space on the internet and it's regulated by companies they could never compete with ever. Currently, the FCC is taking comments on the proposal from everyone. The Democrats, led by Al Franken, have proposed a new strategy of restructuring the internet. PC Magazine reports Franken, along with 12 other senators, are actually encouraging the FCC to go the reclassification route. That is, reclassify broadband as a telecom service rather than an information service, which would give the FCC more direct authority over the nation's internet service providers. So the Democrats' plan is to treat the internet like a utility like gas or water. However, the problem with that is the FCC is currently run by a guy who wants to get rid of the regulation. Oops. But for members of the American public, there is a way to have your voice heard, and John Oliver has you covered. We bought the URL goffcyourself.com, and if you simply go there, it will land you straight on this page, where all you have to do is hit express and comment telling Ajit Pai that you specifically support strong net neutrality backed by Title II oversight of ISPs. Are you concerned for the future of the internet? Let us know in the comments section below and please like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.